Hey guys, so today I want to try out the new Geekbench app. It's uh, the Geekbench 3 over here. So uh, we can see that I have installed it. Uh, already made a comparison with Galaxy S4. You can see here the app looking good, looking pretty. Uh, so we do have iOS 6.12.4 on my black iPhone and then iOS 7 beta 6 on the other, my white iPhone. So you can see here, Apple A6, Apple A6, 1.3 GHz, iOS 7, 6.1.4, and um, just to confirm, see there, 11A4, blah, blah, blah. So let's uh, just run this, 6.1.4. And I really do enjoy this new app. I mean, it looks really sexy. I mean, it looks awesome. It's perfect. It's amazing. Why is it blue up here? <laughs> I think that yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks pretty weird. I mean, it's like blue up all there. <laughs> okay, let's run. It should be black. Yeah, like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's see here. Uh, so, this new benchmark app is pretty cool here. <laughs> Uh, single core and then multi core. So you can see here on the single core, uh, single core score, uh, 711. <laughs> you bump that up one point to 712. Pretty awesome. I mean, it's an improvement. <laughs> Maybe not a super big improvement, but hey, uh, multi core. Yeah, we got a few more extra, like 10 points, <laughs> nine points. Um, so you can see, I mean, it's not a major difference, but. Little bit improvement. Everyone likes improvement. I mean, even one percent better. That's super awesome. This is not probably even not one percent, but hey, it is a improvement. So let's go down here as well. Oh, wait a sec. Not a massive difference, but hey, a little bit of a difference. We all like it. So hopefully you did enjoy this short little video. If you want to download Geekben this new Geekbench app, you can definitely check it out in, uh, in the App Store right now, both on Android and iOS. But I, I couldn't get it to work uh, on my Galaxy S4 Android 4.3 Google Edition. I already made a video showing that off. So you can check that out if you would like. Until next time, have a great day.